Sometimes you got to blink. I think th that's all right. Oh, now they're going to get stopped at the light. Now this video is going to take forever. It's a good looking truck. It's a pretty truck. Yeah, it's a good looking truck. He's making sure. Quiet. Gas engine quiet. It's quiet. Yeah, it's big enough. Okay guys, so he's finally here. My F650 switch and go. I've spoke about switch and goes for quite a while. If you follow my channel, you know how much I believe in them and the system. So I did shoot a video. These boxes came Sunday. Today is Monday. So you'll see the boxes in the video in a little later. I'll do a full walk around of the truck a little later on in life. I want to get a few miles on the truck so I could give you as a good review. This is a 2016 F650 Super Duty. It's a gas engine, a Triton V10. 14 foot hoist. See the switch and go? Now this is a 15K hoist. I think this is the safety pin. I'm not sure how it goes in, but we'll figure it out. So this is gonna be the first drop that we do with the truck. I'm going to pass the camera off to Bobcat Bob. Let's see how this goes. It's recording, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Well, there's so, certainly something in the body. a box. That was horrible. And that's that. Yeah. I wonder what's in the box. Let's take a look. I like how they got the heavy duty lock on it. That's good. Hey stupid. Do you see one of the latches is broken and you can't open the door? You got the safety on. What safety? Yeah, but that chain is broken. No, the thing is broken. What's broken? There's a bolt missing. See, it's locked. Oh, wow. Look at that. Got to get a bolt. Jesus. <laughs> is it ironic that it has concrete in it? 
Oh, that's pretty fun. That, uh... I don't know what that is. That Canada Dry Bottle in there? Couple of Canada Dry Bottles. This thing did concrete and dirt. Yeah, look, it's pretty sharp. Look at this. Look how ripped it is. Well, using this for the machines anyway. So it's all right. No big deal. 14 foot, I could fit all the machines and even 337 will fit. So, not that I'm putting him in the box, he's a little high. But, but I'm gonna have to take the pindle hook off every time. Look at this. I don't think the pindle hook's gonna fit. I don't know. I wonder if I should have just got a straight shot pindle hook. I think I might have ordered the wrong pindle hook. Well, I could always turn the plate upside the other way. I could turn the plate the other way. Maybe I could avoid taking that pindle hook out every time I got a winch. Overall, I love the truck. I mean, I don't even like Ford, but I like this truck. I really do. This is a nice truck. I really do. Gas engine. I don't got to worry about emissions. Nice controller. I guess that's why guys actually get out of the truck to watch themselves winch. I guess that's why. All right, so we'll have more to come on this truck and this truck will definitely be making it into videos. Okay guys, so like I said, I will have a walk around review of the truck coming soon once we put some miles on it. And I will also give you a review of what I think about switch and go. And as always, I would like to thank you guys for watching and subscribing, commenting. And I will keep you updated on this truck and how it's doing. And I will shoot some videos of it loading and unloading the bodies. And to date, I did load up the S185 with the backhoe attachment. And you can see when winching the machine the wrong way will go wrong. So keep your eyes open for that video because we always love bloopers. Anyway, guys, as I said, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please be safe. Take care. And I will talk to you guys soon.